People always look for a blur in deep when they start to get their hands on deep comp. I shared my thoughts about why deep shouldn't have blur on my page before. You may not agree, but if you are interested, you can check out this album on my page. Due to imperfect deep processing, I agree blur, filter, smoothness are still necessary for deep. I've got someone message me about his noisy deep render problem, so I shared my solution and made it as a tool here. I recreated the deep smoke problem here. And I am going to merge with these deep fur balls. After the deep merge, you might not see any problems. Yes, we've seen some noise issues here. When I changed the deep merge operation to hold out, then it showed more noisy pixels. Let me pull out deep filter. Deep filter works similarly to the matrix node. It has XY matrix and XZ matrix. You can set the 3 by 3 matrix, 5 by 5 matrix, or any different size of the matrix as you need. That represents how many samples to create. Matter of fact, the more samples that you created, the slower process you'll get. Let's go through the 3 by 3 matrix first. Here are the noise pixels. When you start, the center value is already set to 1.0, that gives you 1 to 1 image as input. Put 0.5 value next to it, that will expand the pixel with 0.5 multiplication value on alpha. Do the same on the other side, then it expands on the left and right. Put the value above and below, then it expands the pixel up and down. Let me put 0.2 at the corners. So now, you will find that the pixel has been softened. But when zoomed out, you will find that the image gets brighter than before. That's because the density of semi-transparent samples increases. Unfortunately, this deep setup doesn't have the normalize as a matrix node. But it has a multiply alpha for you to adjust the RGBA as the input image. So this is after adjustment. This is the original from input. So when you zoom in, you can find that the noisy pixels have been softened, and the brightness keeps the same as the input. Let me explain how it works inside the tool. The cube here represents a single deep sample, which is a single pixel on the image. And the camera is where we are looking at the pixel. By default, deep filter is running 3x3x1 three by three by matrix, it will look like this in 3D space. XY matrix is left to right, top to bottom. XZ matrix is from the top view, from far to close. So when creating a 3x3x3 matrix, it creates about 26 times of a single sample. However, when the sample is created, if the alpha is 0, the tool will remove that unnecessary deep sample. To avoid slowing down the process a lot, unless you assign the value to it. But I still recommend to keep one layer of Z matrix if you don't have any depth samples issue. Let me apply the same value that I did on the previous demo. The primary pixel will spread the value to surrounding pixels in terms of X and Y. When you give a value to the XZ matrix, then the value will multiply the whole XY matrix and put it in layers order. Top to bottom of the XZ matrix represented from far to close of the camera distance. So you can input any values to multiply the opacity of the surrounding pixel in Z. This deep filter works similar to matrix node, but it is a little different. Let me show you the difference. This checkered board has a solid alpha. I scale down the size, so we can compare the core and the edge. I multiply 0.5, so I have a semi-transparent alpha. 
I already set up a 3x3 matrix here. I pull out deep filter and copy the same value from matrix node. You can find that beside the slightly luminance difference, the softness filter has the same result. This time I compare it with a 7x7 matrix. The core has the same softness, just the edge is slightly different. If I disable multiply, the alpha goes back to 1.0. The core cannot achieve the same result, but we are still able to soften the edges. These differences come from the Z layers and deep, that's why it can't achieve a 100% result. But I think it's pretty close for users to create their own matrix filter in deep. And that's why the tool is named deep filter instead of deep matrix. There is also one more difference. In a normal matrix node, you can put minus 1 to make something like an emboss effect. But in deep filter, minus 1 doesn't work. That's because the tool will clamp the alpha. Last thing I want to mention here. When using deep merge and you want to apply the anti-aliasing filter on the intersection point. Deep filter cannot do it at the moment. Ben McEwen shared his setup in his newsletter before. You can download from his page here. While I am preparing this demo video, I also created a quick setup for that. The setup is also using deep filter with some extra setup. Result looks good in some areas, but some are not. I think the benefit is not hurting the core image. I might push this setup furthermore in the future. If you are interested in the process or you have anything you want to share with me, you are welcome to message me on my Facebook page or drop a comment below. Enjoy!